Hello everyone, it is the Gaming Weasel back again with another video, and yes, we are in our orbiter again because we're gonna be continuing the saga, and today, Ayatan Sculptures, how to get them, where to get them, and uh, what are the best possible ways of getting uh, Ayatan Sculptures. Now, the first way that of getting Ayatan Sculptures is of course doing the weekly mission at Maru's Bazaar, and if you go to alerts, you're going to see it pop up right here. And if you don't know where it is, you just have to go to Mars and go to Maru's Bazaar. Talk to her. She's going to she's gonna be right at the, I guess, main entrance of the actual uh, relay. And you're going to talk to her. Go and hunt yourself uh, the Ayatan sculpture. And pretty much it is plain and simple. I would recommend a faster Warframe. Uh, Warframes such as... Uh, Volt and Gauss could be useful, but I do recommend uh, Warframes that can fly, like Titania and or Wukong if you want to use those. Wisp can be useful as well because of her uh, teleporting ability, so you can use her as well. And Zephyr, of course, is an option here as well. I love using Wukong because of the mobility inside of his uh, Cloudwalker ability, so you can definitely use him if you have him, and it's not that hard to get ordinary Wukong. Uh, so he is a very good warframe to have nonetheless so you're gonna get uh, an Adan sculpture here is gonna be a random one out of uh, the options uh, that you uh, have and uh, on screen you will see all of the Adan sculptures you can possibly get uh, so keep that in mind now not all of these are obtained by these weekly hunts some are obtained a little bit differently so getting an Adan sculpture here is pretty okay it's gonna reward you these sculptures usually are worth around uh, let's say uh 1000 to, to like 2000 and though it is sculptures like uh the the orto sculpture and or the uh via sculpture as i said you have a couple of more which will reward you with a decent sum of endo which is pretty cool now, uh, the other easy way of getting endo, well, sort of easy, is doing the sorties. Uh, in the sorties, the roster pool, the common is the Atan Anasa sculpture, which will give you, I think, 3,200, around that number uh, of endo, which is very, very good. But you do have a chance of getting maybe 4,000 endo, getting a 3-day booster, and getting uh, either the rare or legendary reward. So keep that in mind. I love doing sorties uh, because... Uh, I mean, they're fast. If they're fast, I love doing them. So if missions like Exterminate, Mobile Defense, and Assassination, these three are a perfect combo because it doesn't take up a lot of your time. It maybe takes up max 20 minutes, maybe a little bit less. So getting 3,000-something uh, endo when around that sort of period is pretty good. And plus, you still have a chance of getting something a little bit better. Now, we're going to fast travel to, necro, uh, to the Necrolist, and I'm going to show you another cool way of getting endo uh, and Athan sculptures, of course. Now, uh, as I said, this is gonna take me a little bit of time just so it loads. Uh, now, uh, the the thing is uh, here, you need to go to Lloyd, uh, and you do need to increase your standing with uh, the uh, Necromech sort of uh, syndicate here, the Lloyd Lloydamech. I don't know. Actually, I'm not sure what it's called. Uh, but uh, Necroloid. There you go. Standing. You will have to increase this. I'm currently not even like leveled up but you will be uh needing to get clearance to the odima so best friends uh and then you will be able to purchase yourself the an uh ayatan kitha sculpture uh and i think if i'm correct this one should give you around uh, 2000 something endo i've actually haven't gotten this one yet but because as you can see i'm not even leveled up with the with the syndicate so uh, keep that in mind but this is going to be a very good thing for for some other stuff as well uh, so i would definitely recommend you level this up as fast as you possibly can now we're gonna leave the necrolisk and we're gonna go back to our orbiter you know keeping this uh like the olden days fast traveling and keeping it all in the video just to i guess make it more fun but the best way of getting at sculptures is of course arbitrations arbitrations will reward you it has the same pool uh, of Ayatan sculptures as do the weekly missions, but you're gonna get much more of these and you're gonna get many, many more. 
Uh, because at every single uh, five minute mark or five wave mark, I usually do love doing uh, the, the survival missions because they're fun, they're interesting. Plus you get Vite Assassins, which will allow you to purchase yourself an Athens sculpture from the Arbiters of Hexes inside of any relay. So that's another 2000 something endo. So that is very, very cool. So the best way is definitely Arbitrations. In my opinion, this is almost the best uh, endo farming farm uh, other than uh, using and playing uh, Sedna uh, I think it's on Sedna I actually kind of forgot uh, and playing the arena mode or Serious I'm either one of those two but definitely arbitrations are going to be your best way now I didn't talk about uh, the the thing that can happen, and that is that I times sculptures have a one in ten chance of spawning inside of a random mission. So let's say I'm you know playing and I want to go on Earth and I want to let's say play Everest. I want to uh, play an excavation mission. Uh, there is a one in ten chance of it spawning on that map. Now it will show up on your radar. Uh, the thing that you can do is uh, use AOE weapons or a the Zaku uh, the box destruction Zaku build, which honestly. I don't recommend because this way is so inefficient that I just didn't recommend it. That's why I'm saying it at the end. Uh, a 1% 1% uh, chance is pretty low. If you have a squad, it could be a little bit easier. What what thing you can do is play the syndicate missions right here. Uh, if you go to syndicate, you can play these and try to to hunt uh, hunt down inside of these missions because you're hunting for the the little pieces as well. So. I guess it could be a two in one, uh, but it will show up uh, on your radar. If you equip a uh, loot radar as well, it's going to make it uh, a little bit easier. So, yeah, keep it in mind. There's a one in ten chance, so good luck finding it. But arbitrations is definitely the best way. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you guys did, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. It always helps me out, and I love helping you guys out. And I will see you guys on the next one. The Gaming Weasel, over and out.